Welcome to today's Eliminator. I have a couple of hours. Let's see if we can win some. Look at that for a start. Nice easy way to warm up for the first game. I am racing a level 1, but it quit instantly, and the game has refused to give me the win. It is making me go the whole way. This is a mountain arena, so the race will now be up the mountain. There are some good racers' names popping up in the feed. I am getting a bit worried about this race. If that Fiesta can get across sweetly to the road, I am in big trouble. video shorter, let's cut straight to the final. Hey it's your bad boss. You said you never get a chance to race me. Well hello, here is your chance. This will be fun, place your bets. The slight advantage is with the AMG one. Like all my videos, these include wins, losses, and fails. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Just like spring, where they increase the slipperiness, this is winter, the bouncy season. That's where the ground is hard, and they increase the bounciness. So cars tend to bounce all over the place. That is the biggest danger with this car, it tends to bounce all over the place. I have to keep it smooth and fast. When it bounces like this, you just gotta flow with it. Hang on and gently point it in the right direction. This and the Funko are the worst bouncers. This has worked out all right. Who did you choose to win? Your bad boss got second, well done. Winner! Welcome to the Eliminati! We pick up game two after a few races. I had a game in between, but a wicked bounce. Bounced my 959 straight into a shed, so a BMW eliminated me. Pity as your bad boss already had an RS200 and it was shaping up to another good final. This is risky. These cars have the same top speed. This has faster acceleration, but that advantage is now over. It now comes down to straight racing and the fastest path. Arena shrinking.
this quickly turned into a Centenario. Now for the final showdown. Advantages with Sultanov GT, he is a full-time Eliminator player on Twitch. I stole his AMG-1 with a RS-7 last time we met, so he will be out for revenge. So we have some great players, Sultanov in the AMG-1. Fastang has a level 9 BW, which certainly doesn't lack pace off-road. This should be a good race. I am kicking myself already. This way is just too slow. Sultanov has gone across the field, and that way is a lot faster. I have gone this way, and all I can do is do my best now. Look, he is gone. Silly me. It's the split-second decisions that make or break it. Fastang is to my right. I will be no faster across this terrain than him. In fact, he has better acceleration over the bumps. I certainly did not enjoy that. That was horrible. I got totally thrashed. Note to self, Stop going that way. Game three, we pick this up after a few minutes. The Ferrari drop quickly turned into a GTR, then a RX. Now this Brocky. Final showdown time, we are up against a Funko, and an AMG-1, and an RX, and a level 5 Ford RS. They are all going for the cliff jump, I am going for the canyon road. They are probably faster if they can get it right. There are three lines you can take here. To the left of the bridge is faster. This one has a jump that slows it down a little. The bridge coming up has three lines also. Hard right behind the trees, skimming the railway lines which I take, and the bridge itself. My path has less rocks, so I go that way. I have never tried going under the bridge, that might work. I am only coming third, so they must be close to the pin. Horizon, please congratulate the Eliminator! Looking at the names at the end, I see the Funko quit. Well, look at that. A Camaro in the first game, a Ferrari in the third, and this to start the fourth. Certainly helps. This quickly became a Brock. Nighttime is falling. 
I have been taunting many but challenging none. I am happy to eliminate people if they really want me to. Good to see there is another Brock. Someone else wants me to eliminate them. Okay, only if you insist. I see Pancake has an AMG one in this game as well, and I have had the Brocky two games in a row. Oh, Pancake didn't make this final. The Brocky eliminated him. Hopefully they don't take the AMG one, as this is a highway race, and it could be hard to win in this. Yep, they took the AMG one. Okay, I will need to block or take a faster path. I will straight line this. Take the gap. The highway might be faster, I am not 100% sure, but I stick to the highway the AMG1 will probably catch me and pass me. What you put that tree there? I hate nighttime. How the heck did I do that? The thing is, I had a healthy lead. Better than what I thought, I didn't need to go this way. Now I have lost the lead, and most probably the game. Think I like that? Hell no. I am going to gift this, as I plan to gift a level 10 and a final showdown win before I scoot away off on holiday. This is gifting a level 10, as they are going home if I don't gift, and they upgrade to a level 10 if I do gift it. They are going, what the heck, where is he going? The timing is convenient for me as my wife is coming home for lunch and has asked me to prepare it for her. Game 6. Lunch is over. I am in the slippery Camaro. I need to set an advantage so I can gain some traction.
Here we go. How will we work this one? Chase them. But don't get caught in their trap. Then set your own trap and zoom away for the win. I see there is an RS-200 out there already. The Brocky again. That's three finals in a row. Final showdown time. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Oops, knocked off course. I plan to skim the shed. Well, that was a bit tame and too easy. Not my choice of a final. They should be at least five minutes long. That was over a way too quick. Welcome to the secret society of the Illuminati! Oh, shh. Game seven. Final showdown time. There is a bunch of level tens. I have decided to stick with the Fiesta. See if I can make it hum. They will be coming fast, the ground is dry and hard so it really suits the faster cars. I am hoping to miss this house, and the second one too. No, it bounced me into it. Can't do that with level 10s breathing down my neck and expect to win. I have already binned one race, I don't want to do it again. Robbed by a wicked bounce. I have time for two more games, then I am away on holiday. Game 8. I have had a funny kind of game. I still haven't raced anyone and it's over halfway gone. Look, someone wants to give me an RS-200.
I will look after it for you, and hopefully win in it, for me. Sorry, buddy, I know it burns. Final showdown time. I want to see who this was camped up here. Hmm. Might be hard for you to win this. I have done it before against level 10s in a standard final, so it is possible. So, it's a bunch of level 10s versus a level 1 VW. I believe there is a pro truck out there too. Now will the RS-200 rotate on me, over this little hop. It loves to do that here. Nope. This time a forward roll. An endo. Well done, little car. I will take that as a victory roll, and the car choosing to wait for the others to catch up, so it can make it a closer final. Here's hoping that is right. You can hear both of those centenarios screaming away out there. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! That was only made possible by that steel. Level 5 Ford RS versus this level 10. One more game. Game 9. I want to gift a final showdown win before I go on holiday, so this will have to be it. To do that, I have to be in the position to do it. So here's hoping. This quickly became a pro truck. This is what I call the drag strip arena. All races will be west. Oh, there is an AMG one out there already. To gift this game win, I have to beat that. Or steal it. Arena! Okay. Another AMG one. No way. I need one then. Ouch, mate. You gotta take that close to the bridge or you hit rocks. Sorry, buddy, but I need to upgrade.
Will I get an AMG one? No, I got the slowest level 10 car. Oh well, it's my Centenario versus a few fast level 10 cars. Final showdown time. One of the AMG ones were taken out by the other. So it's AMG one, Funko, Centenario, and something else. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. What was I doing? I was distracted and sleeping on start. I left a few seconds late. Not a good way to attempt to gift a win. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Whoa, AMG one gone. Left too early, this is now a two-car final. The Funko hates the road, so I have a good chance. Don't know why I did that. I should have just followed the road. The Funko is heading straight for a rock. I might be able to end this with a gift after all. Well that's it from me folks. I am away on holiday. I will schedule this to drop a few days in. I hope you enjoyed today's crazies. Wins, losses, and fails. I appreciate a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed. See you when I return.